the year of night So why don't you call The power of resurrection will save you Why don't you To explain why God has not taken my life away, I prayed for death times uncountable. But death refused to come. Who oh, will kill me? <laughs> ah. Who unto me? Caused be me. The morning of my life was glorious. <laughs> the afternoon of my life was pleasant but the night of my life is full of pains darkness calamities tragedies and failures oh, I am a failure in life I am a failure in life. <laughs> I am a failure in life, Shade. <laughs> death, come! <laughs> oh, death! Come and take me, death! Mama, stop pushing yourself evil. There is still a whole fair tree that is cut down. The remaining shoot could still spring back to life. Mm -hmm. eh? Go could still do something out of a shattered life. Pick up the pieces of your life and, men and now go mend them off for you. Hmm. Shady. Mm. My life is an example of a wasted glory. A wasted life and wasted potentials. When it comes to issues that bothers on a spent life. Once upon a time, I was not just the wife of a general overseer of one of the largest Pentecostal churches in Lagos. I was a reverend under the flourishing ministry of my husband. The late Bishop Dr. Kingsley Gregor Puta. We together ran the Power Pass Power Pentecostal Palace, the Five Ps. Five Ps was a church with 32 pastors under us. We had a beautiful daughter. To be candid, God's financial blessings found good expression in our lives. But I lost all within a month. Shade, I lost my husband. <laughs> I lost my daughter. Ah, and that flourishing ministry. I lost all. 
Incredible. What on earth could have caused such a downward slide to disaster? To say the very least, thank God for the atoning of his apostolic anointing upon his people. Oh, me? Ah. What is splendid to say the very least? Eh? Where is the splendor? <laughs> Another man. A pastor under you. Your son in the ministry cleverly played to the gallery and cleverly won the applause of the people. And you call that apostolic anointing? Eh? <laughs> Pastor, you can eat in my food. <laughs> Honey, why should you be so pissed up? Only matter that is divinely arranged by God. Yes, it is heavily arranged. Eh? I am a pastor by calling. And God grants him the ministry of healing and deliverance. And he is a miracle worker. God is using him to perform excellent miracles. I think that, that yes. goes for a very beautiful compliment for the edification of the Church of God, baby. Eh? No! Look, I won't fold my hands and watch that boy subjugate you. Let me say this again for emphasis. Pastor Godfrey is only pulling a show that is targeted as forming his personal ministry. He must be stopped in his nefarious activities. Remember, a stitch in time does not only save nine, it could save thousands. I think the usual bro, Pastor Godfrey is becoming a very serious one. Especially in these hours and in this in our ministry. Well, um, I think you better give me time to think about it. Let me sleep over it, my dear. Oh, <laughs> Let me sleep over it. Oh. Pastor Godfrey. You have come earlier. What are you saying, doctor? What is the problem? You see, your wife is so weak. She's so weak that she couldn't even deliver the baby on her own. Apart from that, the positioning of the baby in the birth canal is very wrong. So we will need a cesarean section to bring out the baby. Cesarean what? Okay, okay, okay. What I mean is we will need to bring out the baby through an emergency surgical operation. God. So, registration, hospitalization, and uh, the surgery proper will cost about 70,000 naira. 70,000 naira? Oh. oh, doctor, I'm just a preacher. I don't have one thought of that anywhere. But I know that my all sufficient God will provide for me. All right. Or your sufficient God will provide for you. Let's map out all your strategies and get the money fast. All right? 
you waste no more time. Time is not on our side. You have delayed too long. Good luck. Thank you, doctor. Let's get back to us quick. Sam, I feel I should talk to you to see if you could come to our head with that monster. Are you saying that Katrin is in the hospital right now, Lebanon? Yes, sir. Excuse me. Um, how much did you say the operation would cost you? 70,000 naira. 70,000 naira. Okay. How easy you check off 170,000 naira? <laughs> 70,000 naira for the operation proper. And um, 100,000 naira for your naming ceremony and other contingencies. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. My God, we'll continue to bless you richly. I appreciate you, sir. No, 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 no. Just stand up, Pastor. I can say that. All right. Um, let me get to the room and get you the check. That's a good thing. I know that kitchen will give you bouncing baby boy. Hey, what about that? Good evening, sir. Go, Thank you, sir. Oh, honey, yeah, uh, Pastor Godfrey, that the, the wife... How are you, my pastor? <laughs> so How is he with you, my pastor? Uh, I'm fine, ma. I think that my wife is having some difficulty in the bone that would mm. necessitate prompt surgical intervention. Oh, sorry. Yes, um, that Katrina is already in the hospital right now, in labor. And they feel that we should have seen them with something. In fact, I've told them that we'll give you them a check of 170,000 naira. 70,000 naira for the surgical operation and the 100,000 naira for the naming ceremony and the other minor, minor expenses. How do you see that? Uh, no problem. No problem. It's good. A moment, please. Say, give yourself, Pastor. <laughs> Well, I Pastor, Ah, pastor, Pastor Godfrey. Mm. Pastor Godfrey. Um, um, there is an issue that just arose a moment ago. In fact, I was about signing the check when I remembered that um, the building contractor was built to come for the money today. I mean, talking about the 200,000 naira, and you come back by next week for the money. I mean, before your naming ceremony proper. Ah, sir. Please, sir. I thought you wanted to issue a check to me. Exactly. My wife is bent. The doctor himself warned that I should act fast to avert the loss of her life. Oh, please, sir. Please, mommy, help, help me bend, daddy. Please, sir. Pastor Godfrey, this issue should not be overflowed. Go and borrow the money elsewhere. You will not pay it back when the bishop gives out the one around 70,000 naira next week. Simple. Okay, sir. Can you please give me the 70,000 naira I need for the hospital? Pastor Godfrey, you don't seem to understand what I'm saying at all. I said the building contractor is coming for the money today. He's coming for his 200000 dollars today. Do you want us to disappoint him? By next week, we would have gotten enough money in the account. I will give it your, your, your check. Simple. 
Please, sir. I, I don't have other means. Okay, sir. Can you please give me 40,000 naira and I will look around for the rest. Pastor Godfrey, why are you doing this? I promise to give you the money next week. You will get the money back next week, Pastor Godfrey. And, and, and I'm sure our God is going to make supplies. Yes. Our God will provide where you do not even aspire. Yes. Trust him, Pastor Godfrey. Trust God. It's well, Pastor Godfrey. It's okay, Pastor Godfrey. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Words are inadequate to express my gratitude for this show of magnanimity. I appreciate you, sir. I pray that God Almighty will continue to bless you richly, sir. Thank you, sir. Amen and amen. Now, go quickly now to the hospital and uh, settle the bill. I hope to catch up with you later there in the day. Thank you, sir. That's all right. Thank you, Chief. And what? Um, your wife? Yes. Um, no, in Jesus' name. Please, doctor, don't say it. Don't tell me my wife is there. I won't even say it, okay? Your wife is not dead, she's alive. In actual fact, she will no longer require any surgical operation. Praise God! Hallelujah. You see? She miraculously delivered the baby. But because of the depression and the exhaustion imposed on the fetus, it gave up the ghost about 10 minutes after the delivery. What gave up the ghost? We lost it. Lost what? Doctor, you lost what? The baby. My God! <sighs> Pastor Godfrey, don't you think there are some sins you needed to confess? Don't you think you have gotten your fingers soiled with sin and the severe consequences of the sins kept haunting you? Uh, 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 uh. That's okay, my dear. This whole thing is okay. Eh? Pastor Godfrey, I'm sure you want to go into the corners of your room and make necessary, appropriate reflections of your life. And then you should make restitutions when it be. I think I'm correct, Pastor Godfrey. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good day, Pastor Godfrey. Good day, Jason.
Pastor Godfrey. Chief, sir. sir. Ah. Good afternoon, sir. Where are you going? Well, good afternoon, sir. Uh, uh, you see, I plan to stop by at your place and uh, uh, just to have some uh, discussions with you. I hope. Uh, I was just wondering if we could discuss over some soft drinks on issues that I discovered to be very much important to you. It's okay by me. It's my player, sir. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Pop in, Pastor. Pastor Godfrey, to say that uh, I was thoroughly embarrassed and surprised at seeing you trekking about town. Uh, that, was, that should be an understatement. In fact, I was very shocked. Yes. I, I don't know, and it amazes me, why Bishop Kingsley has not found it uh, interesting and uh, he has not found it worthwhile to buy you at least a Mercedes Benz S class. Ah, you, you, you are qualified for that. Ah, I don't know why he has not thought it fit. After all, the church has the money. Huh? And you see, Bishop Kingsley and his wife, they parade themselves about town in choice cars and they live in the state of the art apartment. Why they now leave you? out in the cold and then they subject you to excruciating poverty in fact uh, i think it is high time you liberated yourself from this physical mental and spiritual torture that they have subjected you to chief sir i, I wish i know what you actually desire for me <laughs> so, you have not really uh, read between lines. Uh -uh. What I'm saying is that start your own ministry. Yes, yeah, start your own ministry. After all, you have the charisma. And uh, you can rob soldier. I mean, you, you, have, you can see some soldier to soldier with icons in the preaching ministry of today. Yes. Uh, you see, start your own church. And I, and I bet you, if 90% of the present members of a Bishop Kingsley's church will not find a very good abode under your church. Hey, that, that's what will happen. After all, you, you have the anointing, your English is flawless, and uh, you perform miracles. While Bishop Kingsley only preaches without action and no miracle. And you see, that's all that is needed to start a church. You go and prepare your budget, and I will pick the bill. I will pick up the bill. Yes, I will put the bill. I will start you up in ministry. Yes, uh, you, you just uh, you just keep on ruling miracles upon miracles. Keep on performing miracles. Uh, that is all we need. And keep on performing miracles. <laughs> sir, I, I appreciate you, sir. Oh, thank you so much for your and, uh, care. Uh, it's sir. a pleasure. Uh, but sir. I would like to seek the face of God over your offer. And then, um, as soon as God grants a go ahead, I will let you know. Chief Clement! Chief Clement! You want to set us up in ministry? Oh, thank you, God. Honey, nothing this good has ever crossed our way since we got married. Oh, Jesus! Praise the Lord! <laughs> Praise the Lord! Oh, God! Praise God! Chief Clifford on the line. Chief Clifford? Hello, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> 20 million era! Oh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, sir, like I told you, uh, I will still want to pray. Uh, however, <laughs> there is green light. 
Oh, yes, sir. As soon as God says, go ahead, I will let you know. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. What did he say? Chief Clifford wants me to come for 20 million naira. God! For, for landed properties and for takeoff runs. God! <laughs> Yeah, my head is swelling. <laughs> my head is spinning. Only, oh, I'm not dreaming. 20 million naira for landed properties and take off us. <laughs> Thank God. It means that the building itself, furniture, and musical instruments would be at least 50 million naira. <laughs> Oh, thank God, God, thank God. <laughs> um, I will see him by Monday. Monday? See him tomorrow. Only, this is the opportunity we have been looking for. And opportunity is a function of time. If we play with time, opportunity could slip off our fingers. Eh? See him tomorrow. Honey. Oh. In that case. Okay. I'll see him for Oh, that's nice. It's celebration time. Yeah. Eh? Oh, let's celebrate G G Jesus. Oh, thank God. You are happy. Your wife is glad. Opportunity has finally smiled on you. You want to get out of what you call persecution handed down to you by Bishop Kingsley and his wife. Hmm. Now you are set to start your home ministry. But listen, if you start your home ministry now, that ministry will not start. It will crumble like a pack of cards. Why, Baba? Why are you cursing me? Because you have not suffered enough. You are not thoroughly grounded. Do you want to prosper in life? Yes, yes, Baba. Do you want to excel in ministry? Yes, yes, Baba. Now, bring out a sheet of paper and a pen from your bag. Godfrey! 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 You will never make it in life. Yes. I won't forget what you did against me five years ago. I will continue to pay you back in your own coins. I will revenge. I will revenge. Godfrey, I will revenge. For you to excel in life and ministry, you need the following. Humility. Submission and obedience. Humility, submission and obedience. But, between humility and submission, there is a terrible agent. Humiliation. Mm. Humiliation is the terrible agent between humility and submission. Humiliation is the littlest test for humility. How will your humility be tested if you are not humiliated? The terrible agent between submission and obedience is suppression. Submission will suppress you. You are in a ministerial valley now. Can't it all joy 
when your leader, I mean the bishop of your church, uses you anyhow, anywhere, draw a valley. You must dwell in the valley of the of ministry before you climb up. All the wickedness you call your oppression is to press certain bad things out of your life. Dwell in the valley. Endure affliction. Sovereign, great trials, humiliation, lack, and rejections that are in the valley. We will bring you out of the valley in due time. Those who want instant success in ministry, who do not want to suffer under a leadership, how wicked their so-called ministry is. There is need for dwelling for long period in the valley before I shoot it now to mountain top of glory. There are ladders in the valley that you must gradually but progressively climb. Don't be like many so-called ministers that once God grants them a gift in the valley or they have a glimpse of revelation in the valley. Hmm. They will want to jump out to start what they call ministry. Hmm. They want to jump out of the valley to start what they call ministry. Those people never get to the mountain top of glory. Don't start any ministry now. Ah, Baba. Baba. Ah. So it's a dream. Pastor Godfrey, I gathered from a very reliable source that you are trying to pull down the church with the sole name of starting your own ministry. Mm -hmm. eh? The church will graciously labor to build over the years. No, ma'am. Nothing could be so far from the truth. Then I'm lying. I didn't say that, ma'am. You will achieve in this house to pray for a sick child. Yes, sir. It was strictly on the invitation of the chief. And you thought it improper to secure and, and, and receive an approval from her hand before going to the chief's house to pray for the daughter. No, sir. But, sir, I, 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 I just felt. Sir. See yourself. Only hypocrites and deceivers stammer when answering simple questions. Pastor Goffrey, you were at the Nigerian Christian Corpus Fellowship for their state congress. Yes, sir. Well, it was after due approval from your hand. But I gave you oral approval. You were too impatient to receive written approval. Uh, sir, you didn't ask me to write any letter. Most of previous invitations have been approved without any written letter. My judgment is this. You will no longer have the pulpits on Sundays or any other meeting days. In fact, I strip you of the title of a pastor. You are no longer one of the pastors of the Power, Pas Power Pentecostal Palace. Secondly, going to people's house to pray for them, conduct deliverances, counsel them, is hereby prohibited. Thirdly, honoring any invitation to minister in any church or any country is hereby 
prohibited. Am I properly understood? Yes, sir. You may go. Thank you, sir. Uh, don't go yet. It is now a taboo for you to receive any of the rich men on visits to your house. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Listen, you'll be moving to the Hoshi department to be one of the horses of the church. You'll be operating under Pastor Henry. Did you get that? Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Dance, 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 dance. Oh, stand. It's about for a short time, please stand. Stand, oh, stand, stand. What a shame. What a ridicule. God, you deserve much more than that. Eh? I told you, let's leave the church. But you refused. Eh? You refused. What is the use of a church where you will be treated not even like a second class citizen, but like a dog? God. What a demotion. Eh? You that people call pastor, they will not call you bro Godfrey. Eh? What have we got to show for several years of service to the church? Nothing. Nothing. You are no longer a pastor. You are no an ordinary usher. Ordinary usher. Hello, sir. The die is cast. Yeah, the pendulum of opportunity has finally swung to your favor. Now that uh, you are not a pastor in uh, Bishop Kingsley's uh, church, it is time now for you to show him that you have all it takes to be a general overseer and a bishop. Uh, and I have decided to increase your takeoff grant to 25 million naira. What did you just say now, sir? I, I think you heard me uh, clear. You heard, you heard me very clearly. Yes, 25 million naira. And uh, you come for the check of that money first in tomorrow morning. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. It is a pleasure. Uh, but, sir, uh, but... But, uh, uh, but what? Did I hear you say you want to pray? Something is seriously wrong with us somewhere. Eh? Huh? This is an attack from home. This is a high caliber attack. You either need serious prayers of deliverance. Huh? We need to visit a psychiatric doctor. There. Yeah. You see, I'm okay. Mm. Hey, yeah, you, nothing is wrong with me. Mm -hmm. um, nothing is wrong with me. Mm. You see, I'm in the valley of Macon. Mm. Oh, yes. <laughs> and God will take us to the mountain of glory very soon. Let's wait, let's wait. Hmm? It will soon come. Let's wait for the time of God. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Everybody take you! Everybody take you! Everybody take you! Everybody take you!
you did this? I, I, I didn't do it. Who did this for me? I didn't do it. God did it. Pastor Godfrey. Bishop. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Pastor Godfrey. Bishop, ah, he's gone. I will have been dead by now. Thank you, Pastor Godfrey. Ah, Bishop, Bishop, he's gone. God could have used anybody. God did it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Madman. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Ah, in Jesus' name. 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 In Jesus' Thank you, Godfrey. Thank you for delivering our bishop. Thank you very much. If not because of you, thank you. Holy Spirit, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you for the life of Godfrey. Godfrey, boy, you are running away. You run away. Bishop, anointing of God. La 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 ho ha Hey, hey, hey. That was a great one. Look, you are now the toast of the whole church. Look, this is my friend, Barrister Lawansi. Yes, he has decided to join me to finance your church. The two of us will give you 30 million naira. 30. I think that should be okay to start with. And uh, you see, all we ask from you is just to make us the board of trustees of the new church. That's all. That's all. I mean, in fact, if you step out of this church today to start your own ministry, ah, with what, what has just happened in this church, no single person will be left in this church. In fact, I will advise you to do something. Do something. The whole world is shouting your praise. I mean, ah. Well, I appreciate you so much, sir. But God didn't tell me to leave this church. I'm contented here. Uh, more so, I'm called to build and not to scatter. Chief Clifford, sir, I will henceforth be grateful if you desist from discussing this issue with me again. Thank you. Let's go. This is the time to really deal with this book. Godfrey, your joy must not last. Your joy must be shortened. Instead of grace, the whole church stay, stay. 